Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Game Logic from the Rounding Off Trinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. One of the co-hosts of the Enough to Keep Going Weekly Games Podcast. Back with another episode of the Charade Scenarios. The Charade Scenarios is my mini series of live streams and let's plays focused on games in the RPG genre. Tonight we're going to be getting things a little bit sweaty, playing some more of The Witcher Three on the Xbox Series X. So, without much further ado, let's get to it. Uh, so we pick back up in the little bar cantina thing. We've uh, just come across, whoa, just come across the uh, the Griffin. And so now uh, we, uh, the barkeep has heard nothing about Yennefer and we're about to start asking around the bar to see if people have seen or heard of her. This is episode number 801 of uh what we're gonna we're gonna we're trying to do some different things on the on the channel this uh season as i mentioned not make everything a live stream but doing some let's play so we're gonna see if we're gonna stick with this and uh see how it pans out Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades except each what a waste of time the earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Horsewoman of war. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. 
I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the I can definitely say there there are uh, there will be things that I will be interested in uh, besides just the main campaign, but I am not interested in Gwent. <laughs> Just, I'm sure it's fun, and I'm sure that uh, it is interesting for the people who get into it, but I just feel like that thing is a, definitely a time waster. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. It'll lift your spirits. Finding her, that'll lift my spirits. You look haggard. It's just a few drops to improve your mood. A little schnapsies never hurt a soul. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gaunt to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. All right, so we've got our first real lead. But they still want you to ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer, and I would have thought that that would have... Uh triggered the way for me to get out my biggest concern with uh getting through however much of this i get through i'm looking for someone is the weird triggers and we seek some peace and quiet out of my face freak for your breath sours my beer just want to talk you deaf stray no one here will talk to you if his company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Boy, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Oh, 
So this has got a good deal differently than uh, uh still wants me to ask the Nilf Guardians about. So far, it's definitely gone differently than it normally unfolds. I'm in this section. It's weird there's nobody else to talk to. I don't want to talk to the scholar again. Not let me use that ladder. Be gone. We'll not talk to you. Now, am I only supposed to talk to the Nilf Guardians? In the bar is the one question. Apparently so, because that's still locked. Let's see if Vesemir spins me off down a different branch. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. So now what I'm normally accustomed to, there's normally a group in here that when you talk to them, a fight breaks out, but I, unless I'm missing something, I do not see those guys in here. But like I said, this is my concern, is The Witcher 3 is highly, highly dependent upon goofy event triggers, and when you get something dorked up out of order, then it it's all botched up. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Any last words? Don't let out! What the fuck? <laughs> nice meeting you. Oh. Who hit that guy? <laughs> I didn't hit him. Weird. He got all bloody. It's like it's not like I hit him with a knife or anything. Very strange. And they won't let you loot. Game save without having saved when you reach certain milestones of the story. So you save your progress early and often on your own. Was anybody else left that I should talk to? Should I? I'm gonna head back to the Vesemir. It says ask the Nilf Guardians about Yennefer, though. I'll try to talk to Elsa. Something else you'll be needing. Nilf Guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that, but they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Now, now I just want peace. All right, so I'm gonna head back outside. Since those guys were blocking my path, maybe they, uh... <laughs> Cats hissing at people. They're hissing at me, maybe. Right. Uh, yeah. So I forgot about. 
following the little adventure arrow up there. So maybe I'll hop on Roach and maybe, uh... Yeah, riding Roach isn't the best thing. It's weird that the horse can't back up. Isn't that your boy that we just rescued? Go, go. I don't know. I don't know if this river is crossable. All right. So I'm gonna try and find a place where I can cross. Now from that point, if I remember correctly, it sends you off on a quest to go find some berries or mess. But I didn't pop that, so. I don't really know what this, uh, what this arrow is pointing me towards. I feel like I must have broken something in that uh, bar sequence. Because I thought there was another group of like four, but maybe, uh. Maybe those guys were the dudes that I met outside. How is it that I already. Oh, okay, that's right. It, it told me to go ask the garrison, so. That must be what I am uh, off to go do. It's weird that uh, it wouldn't have told you to grab Bessemir, Bessemir and uh, go do this. You know what I know for absolute certain that uh, that following this roadway is the way to get to where I need to go. I'm pretty sure I'm going out to that building out over yonder. Whoa! I don't know why I want to be bothered with this thing. Sure. Ah, uh, this camera spinning is... Not so fast, Roach. That's so you have to hold me to dismount. Yeah, just, uh... On PC, where you can twirl the camera around with your keys while you're concurrently moving. Just a lot better. I've never seen one of those drowners just pop out of the water like that and attack you on the bridge. I thought they didn't try and get at you unless you actually went into the water. Yeah, I'm also accustomed to playing this at a much higher frame rate. This game specifically uh, on PC. <laughs> I commented in the earlier video that just in general, I'm used to playing games at a higher frame rate, but I guess I'm recalling now that I have spent a good chunk of time playing this on, this on PC. Oh, uh, really? No, that's... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just complete luck, I didn't know what I was doing. Oh. Took all them out. I 
I mean, there's part of me that says I should uh, be fighting like everything that I pass by in order to grind for a level, but. Where is, uh, okay, there's my health. Thanks a lot, Roach. That's it, Roach. Good jerkwad. What is that? Ah, hornet's nest. Just get out of here. Thanks a lot, dudes. Seem that there would be a place to tie Roach off, but I think he knows how to fend for himself. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. These guys. What do you say? Turn right past the gate. <laughs> I think there's a blacksmith in here too. That might be of some use. We must requisition the share of your harvest. There are blacksmith and armors. I know there is little left in your granaries. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? F Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier. And... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. Then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then... The griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin. Its sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He 
has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun diakten. Yeah, I don't know why Gerald Ger has to be pushing everybody's buttons <laughs> when he's uh, near getting the information he wants about Yennefer. <laughs> All right, so I'm not checking in with the blacksmith or the armor or whatever else is up here. Since I don't know that I have enough Quan to actually buy anything. The game really looks really good for a console, but uh, that uh, it spinning no camera. Go to the hunter first. That puts a marker there. It doesn't appear that I can fast travel though. Notice board. Dash, Wosong Bridge. Can I fast travel to there? I can. So the first, the first couple times around that I played around with The Witcher, I uh, I didn't really take advantage of fast travel because I actually wanted to see like the adventures and come across some of the side missions. But this time around, I'm like. <laughs> Like I want to see the pretty stuff, but I also want to make pace, try and get through the story as much as I can. Shoe ducks. We know about the notice boards. Anyone want to go and jump in puddles? Move it. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Okay, so use your Witcher senses to find the hunter. I'm looking for tracks. Oh, there we go. Trails fresh. His love just left home.
I should go ahead and uh there's that out there. Oh, that's a deer. Okay. Oh, there's a missile right there. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. No, why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh... I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is... You don't mind blunting your silver blades on them? Blades don't worry me. Time does. I'm in a hurry. I can't fault you for it. Come on, then. I'll show you. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. So one thing I gotta figure out is, uh, if I remember correctly from PC, there's a way to draw each of your blades. I don't remember. Well, I mean, I don't know how to do that on Xbox. One lay there by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first Griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. All right, so we're going to hold up here for this episode. Like I said, we're we're keeping these a little short. Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. So I think for thanks very much for anybody who happens to uh, swing by and watch the archive version of this Let's Play. Again, this has been the Charade Scenarios episode number eight hundred one. We'll be back for a third episode here shortly. So until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe out there. Play the games that you like and stream the games that you love. Once again, my name has been a camp. Game Logic from the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube. One of the co-hosts of the Enough to Keep Going Weekly Games podcast over on the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube. Every Sunday night. Around right about 8.45 p.m. We try and go live to uh, talk about games, rut row, and the industry. So please feel free to stop by. Until next time, good night, good luck, and good gaming. That's going to do it for me. I'm out of here.